Guys, I have some really bad news. The new Siege season, Operation New Blood, it's mid. Now that's not to say that what's coming is bad, because I don't think it's particularly bad. I don't think that any change that is coming, any feature that is coming, is necessarily an objectively bad one. I just think that all of them total together kind of are just mediocre at best, and it's one of the driest seasons that we've had in a while, especially when we're coming off the back of one of the most hyped seasons that we've had in a while. So let's break down what's coming with the new season, starting off with our operators. Operators being in extremely large quotation marks. We all knew this season was bringing with it a rework to the recruit, which was going to make them more viable in more competitive situations. UB didn't really elaborate much further on that until the season reveal, and now that they have been revealed, I think I can see why. It's because there's really not much to say about them. The recruits are now two separate operators on attack and defense called Striker and Sentry, respectively. Both can now equip custom cosmetics and attachments, and the only real changes to the way that they play is that they can now both bring any combination of two secondary gadgets, and only one person can pick them per round. This has annoyed quite a lot of the community, given that the whole point of recruit up until this point in Siege has kind of been that anyone and everyone can pick them whenever they want. So while this isn't a bad thing necessarily, I think this is a good addition to the game and all, it's just not that exciting, especially when compared to an operator like Deimos. But okay, well that's just the operators. We've survived seasons that have had bad or mid operators, right? Surely the rest of the content that's coming in the season will make up for that, right? Uh, so we got some great changes coming to Solus and Fenrir, both of them are getting heavy nerfs, which admittedly both of those bastards really deserved. That's great. We got a change coming to Barbed Wire, to where it now does 5 damage for each step that an attacker takes through it, it's sort of like a gridlock track. That's pretty cool. We got some nice UI changes that don't feel entirely pointless, that makes a nice change, that's awesome. We got some great changes coming to the stadium maps that removes all the bullshit glass from them, and even adds stadium alpha back to the game. That's great. What else do we got? Um, um, uh, that's literally- Oh, no, wait, 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 I forgot one. Deimos' AK is now getting the option to have four grips equipped. Cannot forget that one, guys. That is a huge change. Do not forget that one. Don't forget the quarter. Okay, so all jokes aside, this season is really, unfortunately, incredibly barren, and it really does not help that it is being put up against Deadly Omen, which was such a great season for all of the content that we got with it. And like I said, these features that are coming are not bad at all. The Solace and Fenrir changes are actually genuinely good ones, and it nerfs them into the ground, which I'm really happy to see. The barbed wire change is interesting. I don't know how it's going to play out, because I couldn't play on the test server, because the test server is already dead, because obviously it is, but I'm sure it'll be interesting, to say the least. The US changes I don't really care about but I mean it is what it is and the stadium maps it really irks me because I mean you can check my map tier list from like two years ago if you want to I never hated Stadium Bravo being in ranked, really, but my main problem with it was the glass. Now that the glass is gone, I would be happy to see it return to ranked. I was at the Manchester Major, and I watched this reveal live, and I was sat there while they were explaining this change to the stadium maps, and I was so pray- I was on my knees praying that they were going to say that they were just adding them to ranked. Keep in mind, by the way, that there are no new maps coming for the entire year. And so when they got to the end of this stage of the reveal, and they said this- We're looking forward to these maps coming out into all of the playlists. Okay, I'm hyped for that. At least Ranked will be a little bit more interesting this season. Except for Ranked. But the entire rest of the crowd at the Major all cheered when they said that, so I guess I'm in the minority. But I don't think I'm wrong in saying that it would have definitely added something to the season if these two maps had made it in. I don't know why this is the case, but it's always Season 2 that introduces maps that don't go into Ranked. It's really unfortunate as well, because while watching the reveal, you can sort of see that they're kind of almost padding for time and struggling to find things to talk about. For Stadium Bravo, there's been changes to the 1F border and there's been changes to the coastline section. Again, these are just minor wall tweaks, doorway tweaks, nothing too serious, but we have linked a few areas with some extra doors. So showers are linked with the door, servers are now linked with the door, and we've added an extra hatch. And it also is not helped by at all that in this season being one of the most barren and contentless seasons that they've ever released, they also announce the R6 membership, where you can spend an undesignated amount of money, they haven't even said how much it costs because they probably don't want the backlash for it yet, to receive battle passes, cosmetics, and like a single Bravo pack, which is kind of laughably bad. A single Bravo pack for spending probably what's going to be $10 or so each month, hundreds 
hundreds of dollars a year for an extra 12 Bravo packs where you can still get commons from them. It's just, I think it was really poor taste to announce this now. And that because all of these changes are so inconsequential and kind of boring, the one thing that's going to stick in people's minds is that Ubisoft is now charging you $10 a month to get some cosmetics for a game that you paid for already. This membership could turn out to be really good value for money. I just don't know. And it should be stated that this is not pay to win. It's only cosmetics. But I still think it's really just not a great time to announce it when this is the season that it's coming with. And honestly, the boos that were coming out of that crowd at the Manchester Major when they revealed this, you would not believe. I don't like talking negatively about this game. I really do love this game. And it, it pains me that the one time that I've gotten to go to a Major to watch a reveal live, it's to reveal this. I praised and championed Ubisoft for Deadly Omen and the Year 9 reveal, so I think it's only fair that, that I give my opinions here even when I really don't want to be trashing on this game too much. I know game development is incredibly difficult, and I know that it was not a single developer's decision to add this membership into the game at this time, and it was some CEO at the top of Ubisoft that decided to do that. So despite how mid a season this might be, let's all remember to not send death threats to people on Twitter, you know? I'm really hoping they can pull something out of the bag with the mid season patch this season. I know that's like a month or two away now, but I think it's the last hope for this season because this is gonna be a boring three months if this is what we have to deal with. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments about this season and how you're feeling about it. I'm very curious to hear all of the colorful words that you will describe this season and its content with. Thank you all for watching this video. I do apologize for taking like a month and a bit off. It wasn't planned or intended. I just kind of stopped making videos for a little bit, but I'm back now and sorry that this is the video that I come back with because it's a very negative one that I don't particularly want to make. But here we are. Please do remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would very much help cure my depression after watching this season reveal. And uh, thanks once again. I will catch you in the next one.